Hi guys, Mark Sell here with Paint on Mark and first of all I'm going to apologise if you do hear any noises like my dog barking that is because we are live. So today I thought we'd paint a lovely, lovely winter scene called At Dawn. So the colours we're going to be using today are titanium white, yellow ochre, bright red, cad yellow, Prussian blue, black, alizarin crimson, dark sienna and van dyke brown. So the brushes, we're going to, obviously we're going to use in uh, titanium white as well. Um, a bit of liquid clear also today. Um, I've got some towels and the brushes I'm going to be using is a, a, a two inch landscape brush, a round brush, fan brush, liner brush and a knife. So with that said, I've already liquid white over the whole canvas, uh, make it nice and slippery and wet and I'm going to use my two inch brush I'm going to go into some bright red, pull out some bright red tap each side and I'm going to go into some a little bit of cad yellow so bright red cad yellow give it a tap nice orangey colour I'm going to start in the middle here and I'm just going to do crisscross strokes just crisscross strokes and then I'm going to pull some of this colour down into our water so it will be the, the reflection into the water when we get to there I'm going to wipe my brush just in a bit of kitchen roll and I'm going to go into some yellow ochre and bright red so pull down bright red little tap a bit of yellow ochre over here so yellow ochre and bright red and I'm going to go on the outside of this ring here and colour around might pull that down as well, a little bit of that colour down into the water around here ok so next thing, I'm not, not going to clean my brush I'm just going to go into some alizarin crimson pull a little bit of alizarin crimson down tap one side, tap the other side, bit of colour and I'm going to go around the outside of that colour Again, I'm just doing crisscross strokes and here I might pull down a bit more of that colour down there as well wipe my brush a bit of tissue paper And then I'm going to go into to some alizarin crimson and some Prussian blue. So put a little bit of Prussian blue down, alizarin crimson, give it a tap and make a nice sort of purpley colour. And again, I'm going to go around that side of that. I'm not blending yet. Pull that down the colour. Okay, then I'm going to go into the same colours, lizard crimson, blue, and I'm going to pull down a bit of black. So those three colours together to 
nice and dark, and which I will do up into the corners here. Just to fill it in. Yeah, and then I'm going to pull this down here, pull this down here. Just fill in that little bit more over this corner. Okay, so we've got that lovely pattern now. Now we can probably sell that as modern art. But uh, we're going to clean our brush now. And again, just going to clean it in a little bit of odorless thinner. Get the surplus cut off. And then into some kitchen roll to get the rest of it off. The rest of the colour out. I want it nice and clean. I do get through a lot of tissue. So I just want to make sure I've got no thinner residue left in the brush. So now I'm going to come up to the middle. I'm just going to blend from the middle outwards. Don't want to bring it inwards, otherwise. You're going to spoil your picture, so I'm just literally now just doing crisscross strokes over this area. Working outwards, I'll lose these lines. the edge so just sort of doing it like bands of colour so lovely bands of colour well this is going to be covered up anyway Once I've done that, I'm gonna again I'm gonna clean the brush again into a bit more tissue paper. So a bit of tissue paper, and then I'm gonna go into some just some titanium white, put it into titanium white, give it a tap, a lot of colour in there, and, and I'm gonna go into the middle because um, I want to create a lovely bright area so I've gone right into the middle spot and then I'm going to blend outwards just doing I'm going crisscross strokes working outwards okay just working outwards when I've done that, very lightly, I'm going to go across the whole surface. Your hairs pull them out. So, right across. Bounce them forward. And then down here, I'm also going to go across this a few times. But, we're going to do the water. You know, I also don't worry too much about that. We've got these lovely colours, lovely bands of colour. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Lovely. Okay, a bit more. Beautiful. Let's put a colour in there, nice light bit of colour in there. Okay. Now next thing we're going to do is mix up a bit of colour with a knife. So we're going to mix up 
alizarin crimson I'm going to need quite a lot of this so alizarin crimson and same amount of black so I've got a lot of alizarin crimson and black I'm going to put it all into a pile thoroughly mix this up and I'm going to add just a touch of Prussian blue but basically the black and the crimson um, will be really all you need um, is just a touch of blue in there I'm okay, going to thoroughly mix this up, you're going to need quite a lot of this so I'm going to mix a lot of this up Okay. so once you've got a big pile of paint I want you to grab a small amount of that and put it to the side and we're going to add a little bit of white to that mix to make it a much lighter colour for a distant trees so you can see there we've got a light mix hopefully that's a much lighter mix so I'll clean my knife And we're going to start with our distant trees. Now for that I'm going to use a little fan brush. And I'm going to pull the colour down one side. And then the other side here. So it's fully loaded. And over here, I'm going to do just a few evergreen trees, and these are distance ones. So all I'm going to do, I'm just going to touch the canvas. I'm going to, all I have to do is do like a little line. Hopefully you can see that. Um, again, it is faint, but hopefully you can see that um, on the video. I'll just draw a little line down, and then just with a corner, I'm just going to touch... And as I go, as I come down, I push harder and spread the bristles out. So I'm just touching. And as I come down, I'm pushing harder. Turn it over now and again if I need to. To bring this down. Okay, and I'm going to do another one. Load up. Do another one next to it. A bit higher. So I draw a little line down first of all, and then with a the corner of the brush, it's a bit like zigzagging. You're just letting it bend the bristles as you work down. Just bending the bristles as you work down. Okay, another one over here. Okay, just touching, letting it take off the paint that it needs each time. I'll do another one. So draw a line, just touch, and let the paint, let it take the paint that it needs. I'll do another one, one more, up here, do a little line, straight down, load the brush, and then come down, as I come down I'll push it harder, like that, let's come down. So, I've got some evergreens now, a few evergreens in the distance. Now, I can do with a, a little bit of land over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my two inch brush, the same colour, 
go into this light colour, pull it one side, tap the other side and tap. And I'm just going to tap in a little bit of land that's coming around here. So just at the bottom of this I'm just going to tap very lightly, just a little bit of land and I'm going to take some land over this side a bit more as well. So here, bit of land. So all I've done is I'm just touching the canvas. I might take that along a bit more. You're not going to see this, so it won't really matter. So I'm just touching this there, and I may a lot of this is going to be covered with bushes, but I'm going to bring this along here, and then I'm going to come out a little bit more. A bit more land. Just a bit, faint bit here. Okay. So just touching with the two inch brush, a little bit of land. Now I'm going to wipe the brush to get rid of that excess colour. Just really squeezing it into the towel. To remove excess. Now while we're here, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pull down very lightly to create reflection. So from here, I'm just going to pull it very lightly and put it down a bit further here so it acts as reflection of these trees where it's bigger. I'm just going to come down here. I'm just going to pull that lightly there. Once you pull it down, you come across very, very lightly. Let's go across very lightly. Okay, which creates a lovely reflection in the water. Okay, now again, I'm just going to wipe the brush again to remove any excess from our, br from our brush, and I'm going to go into some titanium white. I'm just going to pull out some titanium white. I'm going to touch it one side, touch it the other, just so the bristles are loaded up with paint. I'm really load it up with paint, so I'm tapping. Now very lightly, over the top of this, very light, I'm just going to touch. So over here, I'm just going to very lightly touch on top of this blue. So it creates lovely effect. It looks like it's had some snow on these banks and all I'm doing is just literally very lightly just touching the canvas to create a snow. So that gives it uh, a sort of like a, a snowy effect on top and then with a clean knife I'm just going to get a little bit of white, titanium white on the knife and I'm just going to cut along underneath here, these edges, just all the way along here, just cutting along. Okay, this is quite the way back, you're not going to see everything, a little bit more, and maybe a little bit up here. And then a little bit underneath this one, just underneath here, this bank here. I'm just going to come along here. But you must make sure that when you when you do this, you actually keep the knife level and flat as you're doing it. So it's nice and flat and level when you're doing it. So that part's done. So we're now going to add. We're uh, going to use. Brown brush, and we're going to put in some bushes, some mounds along here. Now, I'm using the same color um, because I just want to create a few bushes up around here. So, I'm just going to go into this color and I'm literally I'm just tapping it on top. 
I still want this to be a very distance out here. A lot of it is not going to be seen. So I'm just sort of doing shape of bushes out here. So again, I'm just you're not going to see a lot of this because a lot of it's going to be covered up. Just very lightly. Sort of bushy shape. Okay, so just sort of coming up here. You're not going to see a lot of this as I said because it's it's going to be covered up. But you're very lightly. Shape down there. And then I'm going to do another one over this side, back into some more colour. Over here, I'm going to do another one here. Again, very light, hardly any pressure, I don't want a lot of pressure. I want to tap it into a, a bit of kitchen roll to take off any excess paint and tap it. And then I'm going to do the same here. Just a little, very light indication of something that's happening in the distance. Again, it's very light, it's in the distance, you're not going to see a lot of it anyway. So, you know, it doesn't matter too much. So it's just very light, very light, very light, okay. So as we come forward, get a brush. So as we come forward, I want it slightly darker. And so I'm gonna put um, some bushes over here and come along this bit here so it's gonna be darker. So I'm going to use the same colour, the light, but I'm also going to add the dark mix that we had in there as well. So we've got the dark mix and a little bit of the lighter mix. So there's a combination of both the two. And I'm going to come down here and start doing some, some bushy shapes around this bit here. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to tap, again, bushy type shapes but this is slightly darker so obviously that's going to set that back so I'm going to start from here some bushy shapes and areas and bring it out across into this as well make it go a bit higher keep tapping into the colour down all this is coloured in some more colour and I'll bring this down I might bring this down to there like that, okay, this is all covered up like that. Bring this down, and I'm going to bring a little bit of bring it out, so a little bit of land, make a little bit of land, bring this land out here a little bit. So I'm going to bring this down here a bit more out about there, something like that. All I'm doing is I'm just putting in colour at the moment. That's, that's the main thing is just to get some colour in there. Just creating these bushes and shapes. That's all I'm doing at the moment. Just creating bushy shapes at the moment. Come down. Pull that in. And while I'm there, I'm going to add a little bit of colour underneath. So I'm just going to tap underneath there for a second and I'm going to pull that down well I've got my brush I'm just going to pull some of this down some of this colour down it's got a bit of white I'm just clean that shows it's life <laughs> clean the brush and again I'm just going to pull some of this down Obviously this would be right down here. Okay, and while it's there, I'm just gonna go over very lightly. Over there for a minute. Just to get the reflection in now. Obviously we've got to put some more on top of it anyway, but I just want to get some in now. So we're going to put a, a few twigs and bushes and obviously we're going to highlight this in a minute but first thing we're going to do is get a little bit thinner 
and that colour, the same colour, we're just going to go into to make it like Indian ink consistency. So I'm going to go into the same colour, I just want it very thin into the same colour, Indian ink consistency, to get a few twigs and bits and pieces happening in here. So I'm just going to come up and do a few. Again, you might not see that on the video, but it is there. I'm just spinning it around. I'm just a few little bits and pieces coming up. Indications. Just a few branches and little bits and pieces. I might do a couple of little bits here. Over here, just to throw up a little bit. So the main thing is we've got some big branches and things in there. So clean a brush. Now I'm going to go back into. I'm going to use this time. I'm going to. mix a little bit of liquid clear, a bit of liquid clear, I'm going to get some liquid clear on the palette and I'm going to add that into some white, some liquid clear and some white. Basically that is going to make that a really thin mix of white. But a thin paint sticks to a thick paint, which means it's really going to stand out and show out. So I've got that on my palette ready. Give that a clean. Okay. So the next step is uh, while we while we're here, we're going to highlight these these little bushes here. Um, and I think we're going to use, uh, again, well, we're going to use a round brush again. And I'm going to leave the colour that's on there, some dark on there. So I'm going to go into some dark, into your dark colour. Then into a little bit of that white. Just touch very lightly into that white. So you've got the dark and you've got some light. Because I don't want it too bright at the back here, I don't want it too bright and all I'm going to do is just touch some of these highlights here on this tree again, don't don't do everything, keep some of the darks because darks are your friend and you need the dark to show the light okay, so again, like I said, don't, don't go over everything, we just want a few of these so in the distance you just want to highlight some of these shapes, okay, because again, this is this is in the distance there. And while I come down, I'm going to come down and do a few of these here. Just think of form and shape. Okay, so I'm going to come around, get some pieces here, and just highlight a few. And then that again, if you want a, a couple of zingers, as I say, some really bright ones. You can just do a couple here and there of some really bright sparklers that really show out, that stand out. But don't don't do too many. Okay, don't do too many of them. So, so I'm just checking on my uh, video. It looks like it's recording still, so we're okay. Um, yeah, so. I've done that bit now and so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to layer over the top of this and we're going to put in a couple of trees so we're going to use a fan brush and we're going to go into some Van Dyke Brown and some dark sienna but mainly Van Dyke Brown so it's very dark so pull it one way and pull it the other way I'm 
just want a couple of small ones here. I'm just going to pull them over into this this spot here. And again, don't don't have them too straight. But I'm just going to pull up here, all down. I'll bring it down into about there, so like that. I'll load up again, and the other one I'm going to have instead of coming down into sort of like this sort of shape around there. to that sort of shape. Yep. That do nicely. Okay, and then we're gonna add a few little branches onto this. So with our liner brush going into the browns, you want to get make it like Indian ink again consistency. So we want the brown colour, but we want it very thin, so I'm going to mix it up very thin. I'm just going to do a few branches out from here, just coming out, wiggle these out, branches out here. Couple of bits and pieces. Keep loading the brush up. If it doesn't doesn't go thin, then you you just need to thin it down a bit more. I'll turn that up a bit high actually. Like that. Do a few here. Again, for those of you who say you've got shaky hands and wiggly hands, you've got an advantage <laughs> because uh, if you've got wiggly hands and shaky hands, then. Uh, it will look more real and natural. So there's no excuses. Um, keep adding thinner. Uh, do a couple on this one. Uh, here. Again, every time you're doing another layer, it's setting the, the bit behind it back further to create more sort of like three-dimensional effect. The time you're going over different bits and pieces. Some people say it's easier to work down or go up. Everyone's uh, different preference on the, the way that you do your branches. Everyone's different. All that you're trying to remember is that it's usually thinner at the ends and thicker uh, where you start. That's the only thing you <laughs> would say with it. Uh, I don't get too carried away with that. I just I think that will probably do um, with that. Basically, I'll make his feet a bit bigger, <laughs> and we we'll, we'll put a bit of uh, bits and pieces around the base there. So, with with that, what we're going to do now is get a knife and some titanium white, and spread out a bit of titanium white flat. Get a little roll of that on your knife, and basically up the side here, the the light source is coming from here, so that means that the light area would be on this side so basically if you're right handed you're going to be pulling it from this side around so I'm just going to spread that a bit more basically this side just touch that side a bit more more again this one Take this side you have to excuse me I'm gonna go with the picture to do this bit just put in so I've just done one side which reflection of the light would be here so I'm just gonna clean a knife So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little bit of land using the white. So I'm going to go into the white. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out. But keeping, again, the knife horizontal again, it's very important um, the way that you do the pulling out. So here, I'm just literally just going to pull 
down like this at this angle pulling down okay it's important that you keep the angle the same I'm just going to get a bit more paint a bit more white um, across here so I'm just pulling down to this angle That's all putting down at the same angle. Okay, that makes sense for you. And put a bit more on there so you can see a bit more what I'm doing. Um, I've gone up into a bit higher and lower in areas, and I'm just going to tap over that in a second. Now, to make this look more realistic underneath, I'm going to add a little bit of dark. A little bit of a dark mix so I'm going to go into a dark purpley mix we made with the knife and I'm just gonna lightly just touch underneath these areas and just pull down touch and pull down just touch and pull down touch and pull down just underneath that area now Obviously, if these bits here look a bit too much, you'll go back into your same colour. And just here and there, we're just going to touch the very tops on some of these. We're a little bit show too much. So it blends it in a bit more. Okay, like there. Just going to touch that a bit more. Go over that a little bit. Um, so then we've gone underneath underneath that, as I said, you know, with the dark. Um, at this point, you can put in with the, your brush the shape of these. Obviously, if this was going in there, the reflection would probably be this away. So very, very lightly, you're just going to put in the indication. I just drew a little line here, indication of of this in the water here and again this one this way like this a reflection in the water okay um we'll do a, a few a branches a few sort of right again but again this is going to be very you know you're not going to see all of this in the water so we're gonna do this and then we're gonna brush over it a sec so once I've done that I'm gonna make sure my brush is clean and dry a two inch brush very very lightly um, I'm gonna pull down and then I'm gonna pull across Just so you got the basic sort of shape of that reflection in the water. Okay. Right, back into the knife, and I'm now going to cut in a water line with a titanium white, spread it out thin, cut a roll. And then I'm going to come around here underneath this dark, some more I'm cutting in, again, keeping this nice and level, keeping the lines nice and level, um, creating that lovely effect. Out here a bit. Okay, so you just got this little bit of water's edge here. Okay, with a flexion down there. Okay, now I'm going to highlight these, and I think what we'll do with these ones today, we use the half round brush as well. So, if you remember um, before. I had the, the light colour mix and the very thin white with liquid clear. 
So I'm going to tap into some of the lighter mixture and then I'm going to tap into that white, a very thin white colour. So that white colour. And then I'm going to highlight these here. And so basically I just want to do little clusters, very, very lightly, of colour. Over here, do a couple over this one. Again, sometimes some are a bit darker than others, some are lighter than others. Go back into my colour. And this is where the thin paint sticks to a thick paint. So obviously it's going to cover over here. Okay, you got to think of sort of shape, how they would be on this. So don't do don't do too many. I'll do a couple extra. I'll do a little bit of white one there. I'm just going to touch that a little bit of white so it stands out a little bit more. Top of that. And I'm going to do just a couple of little bits here. Not too much. Just so you can see, it's got a covering. Not too much. There we are. Another one there. That's it. So hopefully you can see that on the video, the colours. So basically that, that sort of side sort of completed now. So we're over to this side. So back into our round brush and we want the dark colour so we're going to come down into a dark tap so I'm going to do a, a, a big bush up here bushy shape Again, we want a bit of layer out here as well. So I'm going to start from over this hairy area here. I'm just going to hold this one because obviously it bounces. So I'm just going to put a bit of land coming out about here. A bit of land coming out there. And I'm just going to just tap. Basically, I'm just trying to fill in the colour. Do a bit of reflection here. And while I've got that, I'm just going to use my two inch brush to pull in a reflection down here. And across. While it's there. So I've done this and then I'm going to come up here. So this is my darkest area. Yeah, and I'm just going to do, like I said, like, like sort of bushy type shape. I work up right off the end of the canvas. Again, you're not going to see all of this. Just sort of filling in the colour really. Um, and then I'm going to do another one here, coming this side. And you're not going to see too much, but I'm also going to bring this down across this way. Back into some more colour. And then I'm going to pull this down this side, over here, probably come along, there's some bushes along there I think, so, okay, I'm just literally tapping with this round brush.
lovely. So we've got a nice base of colour in there. So I'm going because that's going to be in the background anyway. So, so we got another bravery test there. I think what we're going to do is we put in a couple of trees in front of here, and I think I might have also I'm going to put an evergreen right in there. So this evergreen is going to be darker uh, than these ones. So I'll go into a darker mix. Pull one way pull the other way and here we come up here going touch up here and again just on the tip of the brush bring it down across here right down to the bottom there Okay. Now sometimes I use a knife and just run the knife up through the middle of these. It can create lovely points and also you can run a few more lines up here and there. Um, and also Okay, I'm going to run this one up right there, and I'm going to scratch a few little lines in the dark areas. in here just to change the, the, the colour a little bit I'm just going to put a little bit out there just changes it a little bit you know where you've got all these different colours going on in your picture it just adds more character and it adds more to it for people to look at things going on more realism, as I say. Got a few little bits and pieces there. So I'll just add a little bit of brown in there. And I'm also going to do a bit in this side here. I'm going to take this up from this side and I'm going to run this up here into this one. More colour. Colour. So just add a little bit more there, just a few little bits and pieces. Okay, can we add a couple more of this side? Okay, get some pieces show through. Okay, now as I said, we're going to use the brush. The fan brush into our dark fan dark brown and dark sienna. Pull it one way, pull it the other way. And I put a couple of trees in here. Uh, first one I put about there, I think. So we're going to pull it down. Uh, it's going to finish about there. And again, you can if you know it's not don't see enough paint on there. What you can do is just go over it again and just uh, load her up. Okay, and then I think we'll have another one. Let me get slightly come this way. Just in front of it. Okay, more colour. Lovely. 
Okay. Now, before I put the branches on this time, I think I'll, I will put our bark on. So using some titanium white, you've got to do like a, a sort of hot round sort of move, so it's down around. So I'm going to touch the side, so it's put it down around, down and around, down and around, down and around. Down and round, down and round, down and round. Okay, wipe the brush, knife, <laughs> as they say, some more wet. And from the other side, do it the other way. So down and round. creates lovely effect on these trees and it really does stick out and then when it dries it looks and feels so three-dimensional so people actually want to touch it which is great okay so I'm going to go into our colour and now our browns again to do some branches don't forget Thin it out thoroughly, spin the brush round, and I'm pull off from here and I'm going to just lift it up and wiggle it and off. We'll go back into the colour. And I'll do a little up here. Bits and pieces. More thinner. If it doesn't spin and work, if it doesn't work, use a bit more thinner. A little piece this way. into some more thinner do some on this side again you know in your picture you can spend as much or as little time doing these branches obviously as you like I'm going to go too mad here, I'll do some thin ones. Right there. Just to hold our leaves up that we're going to put on. Do. So, got enough there to put. Leaves. So it's our big trees and again we're going to highlight now and again we're going to use the round brush again, half round brush and I'm going to do the same thing again is this time that I'm going to go just, just tap once or twice into the light mix and then I'm going to go into that lovely thin liquid clear and liquid white and I'm just tapping on there so I've got a lot of colour on there so I'm going to start I'll start at the top here and do a few bits just a few little bits and pieces coming off just a few bits over there and a couple of bits over here where this one is okay don't don't overdo you know the worst thing is if you overdo it it just won't look so natural and real okay so you know, sometimes less is more, as they say. It's so easy to get carried away um, and just, just do too much. You know, you put far too much on 
and it just doesn't look realistic anymore. You know, that is the trouble with it, because we all tend to look, look at them and think, oh yeah, I need more, um, I need more on here and more on there, and before you know it, you've got carried away and your picture is ruined. I'm going to just put a little bit down on these. So you've got to be very careful of how much of the white that you actually put on the actual picture itself. So now I've got my white on my brush, I'm going to start highlighting a few of these bushes and obviously work from the further away and come forward. So on here, I'm very, very lightly, I'm just going to touch very lightly on here. Do it in layers, so we, we do it in layers as we come forward. So um, we'll do over his feet here. Again, don't kill all the darks. Don't kill the darks. You know, you want to you know, keep gaps in between, the dark gaps in between. It's sort of like in mounds. So, you know, there's like a mound here. Keep that mound going, you know leave some of the darks in between. You must make sure that you leave a lot of these dark areas in between. Okay, otherwise it, it, it really does not look realistic. Now that again as I said you know you can put a few of these highlights on the edges just to make it stand stand out again but don't kill all the darks off so I'm going to come this side and again start from the top I'm just going to again shape I'm not killing all my darks off tap in here keep it going and then keeping the shape the bushy shapes so it looks like there's bushy shapes behind there so I'm now going to put the path in and I'm just going to use my knife and a bit of white with titanium white which I need to get some more of so bear with me I'm just going to put a bit more white so spread down some white get it all over white and I'm just going to pull down a little path just from the top coming down here and all I'm doing is I just very lightly just going to pull a path along here and if you find that using the thicker edge is too much use the smaller part of the knife and just come across the smaller part of the knife going out there coming down doesn't matter if it picks up a little bit of colour I'll go back into a bit more a bit more So obviously we've got a lovely path going through and what I would do is I'll use my round brush so it's not all straight and even to go in some of the dark colour I will tap and here and there I will come into this so I don't want it the same so basically I'm just going to tap here and here so it makes it uneven. I don't want it lovely and even. So I'm just going to tap in a few areas here just to break up a little bit of the path there so it's a little bit uneven. Okay, so I'm just going to go back into a little bit of 
liquid white. I'm just tapping with my half brown brush and I'm just going to highlight just a, just a couple of these on the edges. So they just really zing, just a couple here and there. I just want to pull a few back into some more colour. And over this side, just want to make a couple stand out. That's it. Lovely. Okay. I think that's lovely. I'm going to put a little tiny little bit of a water line just here. Just along there, I think there. And with that said, I think we've got a finished picture. So it's Mark Terrell with paintwithmark.com signing off and I hope you enjoyed the live painting session. Thanks very much.